Hi guys, it's Nish Nibbles here, and this is the second part of the Portal Gun mod. And I'm going to show some more crafting recipes and probably have some fun with the Portal Gun. So, now I am going to show you how to craft the vent that you see in the games. Where it's like up here. Oh, okay. Has to be under a block and then it has to be powered by redstone and it will dispense a cube and then if the cube gets destroyed it will send out another one also if you press the button it will refresh the cube and another one will drop out which is quite cool like if you have it connected to a button obviously you can also do the same with a weighted companion cube which is just a vent which dispenses another companion cube. This is all if you want to make sort of an adventure map for it. But how you craft these is you need five iron ingots, two glass panes, a piece of redstone, and whichever one you want to make the vent for. The storage cube in the middle on one, or the companion cube on the other in the middle. That's how you make those, and I'll probably sh I'll show you how you use them later, but Oh, this one's empty. Oh well. There's some things they took out because they don't work, like... It's in here, I think. They've made these emancipation grids, if you've ever seen in the game. And it says, unfinished, do not use, and you can't actually place it. So, they did work in the old version, but they guess they're making it better. And to craft these, you need a piece of glass, an ender pearl, and an iron ingot. It may not be an ender pearl, it may be a black hole thingy, but I'm not sure. Now, you can also craft a sentry turret. These kind of need to be fixed a bit, but you craft them with five iron ingots, a piece of redstone, and two obsidian. Now, what these do is if you place them down, they will f start facing the other way but they will not shoot you, they will just refuse to shoot you even if you're in survival, they will just not shoot you no matter what, I've tried it and you can either walk into them and they'll fall over and die or you can punch them he broke my glass! how dare you! you dare you, you cannot break my glass I'll incinerate you well, yeah, they shoot things when they die, but apparently not you. Now, if you're lucky enough to punch one, and it, well, no, sorry, place one, it may face towards you, and then say, I'm different, and then you get this turret, which is in one of the games. It won't have a laser, it says I'm different, and it doesn't shoot you, he's very friendly. Pick him up, wait. Oh, I killed him. Whoops. Wrong one. Yeah, you can pick him up and you'll see things, and it's pretty cool. Now, this is quite cool, I think. But I seem to not have put any of the stuff in here, because I'm forgetful. Da, 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 da. There we go. Now, this is an electronic intelligence indicator. You've probably seen them if you've played the game but they're usually next to doors or whatever you're powering so I'll put it next to this door here and if I go to the door with redstone and power the door with redstone and I, this should work oh no no I have to power the block see tick and the door opens it's quite cool oh no I broke my wall And again. That's how that works. It's really quite cool. And it yeah, broke that again. It just senses if something's got redstone or whatever. This is crafted using a piece of iron, some redstone, and a block of glass. The next thing is this high energy pellet launcher which uses four iron ingots, 
two gold ingots and a piece of redstone. This you've probably all seen, maybe. It's if you played the game. God damn it, door. This will just, when powered with redstone, shoot one of those things, which will never come back. Bye. And then when it breaks, it will dispense another one. But if you get, like, if you just have that bouncing around a test chamber, because that's what it is in the game, you can put one of these, which is a high energy pellet catcher, which this fires something out, the little thing, and then it will be caught by this if they get it right by shooting portals, because that thing can go through portals, and if they get it through, it will send this will send out like a redstone pulse and that could open a door or something that is one way of doing the test also that will kill you it's quite deadly that is actually all there is at the moment because the other things in this mod are slightly broken because um, it says how to craft them on the form but they're not actually in it there's also a checkpoint block which is not actually fixed yet. I think they're still fixing it. It's just, it's just if you walk over it, well, if, if you right click it with a block when it's placed, it will look like that block, but when you walk over it, it will checkpoint you so you'll respawn there. It's like a bed, sort of. It's very cool. I'm going to show you some things you can do with the portal gun. Just for the last bit. And. What should we play with? Aerial Faith Plate, Turrets, they're always fun to play with. Nah, I've got those on. No point. Storage Cube. Uh, radio. Nothing in there. companion cube. There's also something I haven't shown you, which is if you get a portal gun, just a normal portal gun, and you put it in the furnace, see this is a blue one, because uh, I've shot blue last. Hang on, this works for both colours. See, I shot orange last in this portal gun, but this will make the single coloured default portal gun and you can do it for all types of portal gun I think but this will make the single coloured portal gun as well the cool thing is don't worry about that that's because I, I think it's because I got both of them at once maybe if I chuck one on the floor it worked before and basically it's just the circle you see in the middle here but with just one colour like on both sides just the same colour but if I get where is it here this place it down place one down over here I don't care there's a missing texture so that's the orange one on there so the blue one if you pick up the blue one and then pick up the orange one no I put the orange one back and I go pick up the orange one this turns into the default one and basically you have both combined it's quite cool really I'll put that back and the other thing is if you put a turret in a furnace you'll get this old broken sort of burnt turret thing can't remember its name it's no defective turret and it like it try it's like all burnt and normally it try shooting you but in the game it just tries shooting you and just makes a clicking noise so yeah that's what defective turret is so um, an aerial faith plate will when you step on it, launch you or launch anything 
I should say, and you can, if you just click on it, not like punch it, if you right click, you can change all of this and if it needs redstone. But you can put a radio and it's gone. <laughs> yeah, so you can put anything on it, you can put a companion cube and the companion cube will just be gone. Bye! Put a turret on it. Wait. Kind of put a turret on it. Lol. You just said I'm scared. Look at that. He's actually got his guns. Oh. Okay. No, he doesn't. Goodbye. I guess they like evaporating. Where's that pig? Can they shoot pigs? Yeah, they do. Look, they shoot animals. Shoot! Okay, I'm putting you down. Quite powerful. <laughs> yeah, but that's all there is in this mod. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. So for now, bye!